Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Looking for an exciting one in the Pac-12 today? Warm-up just about concluded. That means the hitting will soon commence. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Salt Lake. It's time for the coin toss now. Presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Utah, Utah lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Myrick from the four. He makes it to the 28-yard line. The Broncos have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Sanders gains about five yards on the run. That brings him second and five. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll bring up third and inches. Here's this one. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Ewing is waiting for the snap. Brought down at the 26. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Got an opening. He's at midfield, and he's finally shoved out at the 45. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. Scrambling around. Brought down at the 31 yard line. Good yardage there on the scramble. Well, you have to credit the quarterback here. He's not the most fleet footed guy on the field, but notice how he has the awareness and the composure to know when to tuck it and go. And as a result, he comes up with a big play. He's on the run. He's at the 20. seven-yard line. 
The running back goes for a short gain, but it's enough to get the first down. Good work by the defense to limit him to a short gain, but he'll still pick up the first down. He's taken down at about the seven yard line. No gain. That brings him second and goal. We've got second and goal. Seven yards for the touchdown. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. I tell you, when the option works, it can be beautiful to watch. But when it doesn't, it can go horribly wrong. Not a good result for the offense. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Nearly intercepted. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. They'll line up at the 11. Second down. He scrambled, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Well, they sent the cornerback, and he was able to make the sack. The offensive line was just too slow to pick him up. By the time they saw him, it was just too late. Third and 12. Ball on the 10-yard line. Complete. Benjamin was the intended receiver on that pass. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Ashley, back deep to return. And he's tackled at the 43. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Up the middle for a nice game. things for the offense. He's at the 20. Tackle made around the 14-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. This defense can use that last possession as their rallying cry when they forced a fumble the last time the offense was down here in the red zone. And he's tackled at the 16-yard line. Loss of two on one play. That'll bring up second and 12. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 16-yard line. And now he pitches it. Has some daylight. And down he goes around the four-yard line. And they make the stop at the one. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. He laterals the ball. Touchdown, Ukes. <laughs> and 
and he converts the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's take a trip out to Fort Valley. And for Stanford, they've lost two in a row. And for Levine, he hit the 100-yard mark in this one. The Beavers get the W by 11. In other games, Texas State doing battle in San Mateo. The Mustangs' rushing attack can be difficult to stop. They get into the end zone for a touchdown. The Mustangs are on top, 7-0. Wow, you can feel the shockwave caused by that upset all the way to our game. Utah lines up for the kickoff. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 48. Utah's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle at the 26-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the twenty six. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. That's going to do it for the first quarter. We got a good one so far. Utah's lead is a touchdown. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. That makes it second and six. From the eight-yard line, second down. Gets rid of it. Got it, but knocked out of bounds for a short loss. This one should be makeable. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. And you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Boise State to kick. And he'll return this one from the seventh. He's out to the 30. He goes out of bounds. The 39-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Utah is up by four. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. That makes it second and eight. at midfield and they tackle him at the 28 perfectly run option keeper not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option but then again give this offense some credit these guys aren't exactly the scout team that close 
close to being intercepted. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings us third and 12. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Didn't get all of that one. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Gain of 14 on the play. First down. From their own 22 yard line, it's first down. He fights forward to about the 23. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. <laughs> Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they push him out right around the 44-yard line. First down. from their own 44-yard line. First down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Midfield. They'll get six yards. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. They're about four yards away here on third down. He gets rid of this one, and that'll bring up a punting situation. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Ewing awaits the snap. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Utah holds a four-point lead. 
He steps out at about the 29-yard line. Guillory gains two yards with a short completion. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball of the 29. hit immediately. That'll bring up third and six. Makes it out to about the 43. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 43. Yeah, yeah. Regular, regular, regular. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down around the 49-yard line. Six-yard pickup. It's a nice pickup here, although I'm sure they'd love to get their receivers into a little bit more open space downfield. He's on the run. And they got it. Scrambling. They bring him down. The Broncos are going to call their second timeout. Simmons is the punter. And down he goes at the 30. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's to the 40. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. Gain of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Check three, check three. Ready. Three and five. Three and five. He lets it fly. He's tackled right around the 14-yard line. That's going to be 32 yards. Jack, Jack, Thunder! Thunder! Three! Three! One and eight! One and eight! We've reached halftime, and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. The Utes lead it by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but... Could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, oh, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well, and, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time. And, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play you know, the game out of their comfort zone. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's tackled at the 38. They're ready to begin another drive. Utah is up four. Going long. And he holds in the deep pass. Tackle made around the 15-yard line. Got 
some open field. Big play, and it's first and goal. run there. Green gets about four yards on the option keeper. That brings up second and goal. And they'll bring him down behind the line. for extra yardage. The halfback picks up a yard. It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Parker has it at the five. They'll bring him down at the 23. The Utes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Sanders up the gut. And down he goes, around the 32-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Goes left and tackle in a hurry. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. Steps out of bounds around the 43-yard line. That makes it second and six. Dumps it complete over the middle. And they make the stop right around the 34. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Tackle at the 13. Daniels with the tackle at the 13-yard line. First down. From the 13-yard line, first down. There he goes. Touchdown, Broncos. Boy, he looked determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. Boy, we sure have a great game on our hands here. We couldn't have asked for a more evenly matched game up until this point. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 76-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive.
Holmes from the five. And he's taken down at the 37. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. And he's tackled at the 48. it out to about the 41 yard line. Gain of one yard. That brings, that brings up second and nine. They'll get him for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That brings up third and ten. Third down and they need to get it down to the 32. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. They'll bring him down at about the 35. Williams makes the set at the 35-yard line. Fourth down. Mike 13, Mike 13. Set, block 90, block 90. He's on the run. He's at the 20, inside the 10. Touchdown, Ukes. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take a look at some scores around the country. The top team roll. And for Houston, they look to continue their hot streak. Hart's arm is working its magic. He's thrown a touchdown pass in this one. The Cougars on top. 7-0. Early in the first. Touchdown difference, Reese. 17-10 here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Myra fields it at the nine. He's out to the 30. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Kirk, you and I like seeing points. We're seeing points in this third quarter. This has been fun. And I think it's going to continue, Brad. I think the adjustments that were made at halftime have allowed these quarterbacks to go out and, and really be able to take command of how they want to attack each defense. It's going to come down to that final drive. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Brought down at about the 43-yard line. Number seven brings him down at the 43-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. his man and they take him down immediately one more quarter of action remaining and this one has been a real treat Utah's lead is a touchdown all right we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter complete he's got space to work and he hits him hard at the 38 yard line that's a gain of 13 on the play first down from the 38 yard line it's first down complete brought down nothing doing
and he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Now he tries to buy some time. Decides to slide. That makes it fourth and four. He zips it. Got it to the senior. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver. But it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. And this is the eighth play of the drive. to his receiver. Touchdown. And so he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. Ewing has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Ashley fields at the goal line. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Set. Blue nine. He's going to try and scramble. That's a great tackle at the 41-yard line. the catch and he's got nowhere to go. White on the tackle at the 43 yard line. That makes it second and eight. He might have a chance. He makes his way to about the 42. Just under three to go in regulation. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down around the 41-yard line. Rifles at left. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at the 37-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and five. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he's level at the 31 yard line. Caught, and this is gonna be a first down. And they'll get him in the backfield. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 33-yard line, second down. Going right to his tailback. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of seven yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long.
This is the 10th play of this drive. Just under two to go in the game. Flips it middle to the running back. Just a tremendous play there late in the fourth quarter in a tie football game. And now it all comes down to the final seconds or overtime. The offense is going to stay on the field and try to convert another fourth down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Deep pass to the end zone. Just an unbelievable stop. It's been an unbelievable game. Tied up here this late. I think we're going for an extra stanza or two, and I can't wait. Late in the fourth quarter, tie football game, an important game for both these teams, and this is where you find out who your leaders are. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. 36, 36. He sails it long. And he's hit immediately. They really got beat by the deep pass. Against man-to-man -man coverage like that, it's just a foot race. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He's taken down around the five-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. They'll drop him for a loss. Boise State will have one timeout remaining. They're at the six. Second down. The play clock's at zero. They took too much time. Offense.
and he tacks on the extra point. A nice five-play, 64-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Holmes from the four. He's taken down at the 28. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Well, you never know what can happen in college football, so I wouldn't be surprised by anything here. Either way, it should be exciting. Aaron and out long. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Boise State staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.